Yeah, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another uh, quick little vlog style of video. Now for those of you guys who have been subscribed and have been following the duck build trunk with the G35, uh, that specific build, um, you guys, obviously a lot of you guys have been interested in me making you guys a uh, duck build trunk of your own. And I have to say, I will uh, help you guys start the duck build trunk, but uh, a lot of the finishing stuff like bodywork and paint and everything, everything like that, I would probably have to leave up to you guys because really that was the hardest process about uh, the whole build was not like the metal fabrication which is really the basis and the foundation of the build itself but a lot of the bodywork stuff that's necessary for the finishing I really don't have the skill set um, to, to complete but I mean I can lead you guys in the right direction and what I mean by that is um, my buddy actually uh, got me to do a duckbill style trunk a little bit different than what I have on the G35 for his Nissan Altima and that's basically what you're seeing here now on my G35 trunk you guys will remember that my uh, duckbill wing kind of comes up and then curves over where as you can see he wanted to do a straight arch all the way across now this uh, for me is very easy to do basically what I would do is cut the metal uh, shape that you want and then weld it to the trunk unfortunately with this uh, whatever this metal is I think it's like stainless steel or something I actually can't use uh, the welder that I have as you can see we're just punching holes right through uh, so what I ended up doing for him was making these little brackets and I basically welded on the bracket and then we self tapped uh, I don't know if you can see that yeah you can see that and then we self tapped the little bracket into the trunk all the way across and as you can see, that is what's giving us the duckbill shape. Now, a few things that I learned uh, from doing the first duckbill trunk on the G35 is that I probably wouldn't do the side pieces and then the piece that kind of welds down and onto the top of the trunk. Now, reason being is the metal costs quite a bit of money, and to be honest, if you use some fiberglass, some of the stuff that I have right here, this short strand reinforced fiberglass filler, get yourself a small can of this stuff, and what you're gonna be able to do is actually make that curve with body filler instead of using metal and to be honest it requires just as much sanding and uh, finishing as it would if you did the metal you still have to apply just you know you still have to apply just as much uh, body filler and you have to really do just as much sanding and you're kind of limited to that uh, you know that specific shape you can't really change the shape of the wing after that whereas if you use uh, just straight body filler and fill this in on both sides and then you can come in sand and everything like that now this trunk will probably sit on a bit of an angle so it'll be uh, quite a bit more build like I just have it sitting on a jack here and uh, the angles actually tipped a little bit backwards now for those of you guys who want me uh, to help you build something like this if you bring me a donor trunk like if you bring me your own trunk or if you find a trunk online I will actually start this uh, duck bill for you guys I'll probably charge about $50 depending on what size of trunk you have that's how much really it cost me to get that metal um, you know and some consumable screws and a few uh, grinding utensils and stuff like that uh, you know some cutting blades now the one thing that I have learned from doing my own trunk is I would not even bother myself ever again doing the body filler work on this thing so what I would recommend is once you get it to this point find yourself a body shop that you trust that kind of knows what they're doing and get them basically to do the body filler you can throw on you know a uh, you can throw on a nice coat of this stuff the short strand body glass or body filler I should say but then once it comes to all the sanding and the fine shaping and everything like that I'd recommend finding a a body shop that knows what they're doing now those of you guys know with my trunk man I struggled forever and ever to try to get that perfect myself uh, to be able to get prepped for paint and really there was a lot of imperfections that you know sure I had to pay a body guy to do it in the end but 
you know, for all the time that I wasted trying to get it perfect myself and it really ended up needing a little bit of professional work anyways, I would recommend at this point, once you get your metal sheet here bolted up or welded up, man, uh, you know, find yourself, unless you guys know how to do body work and you've done it before. Me, I've never done it before and it was a struggle from start to finish, man. Um, so for those of you guys who are in the GTA and asking or wondering if I can do a duckbill style trunk for you guys, the answer is yes, and um, really, I, I can get you to this point right here. You know what I mean? Everything beyond this, for those of you guys who are following the build on the G35 and saw a lot of the videos and a lot of the struggles that I was having with sanding, filling, sanding, filling, this right here is the point that I can get you guys to. Uh, so this trunk right here is for my buddy's Nissan Altima. Uh, I did a rear diffuser for him as well as some little front splitters. Um, so once he picks this trunk up, I, like I say, I recommend it to him to find a body guy unless he wants to do it himself. Um, but once he does finish this up and throw it on the car, I'll definitely do a little follow-up video, get a few flybys and everything, since uh, pretty much all the aero that's on that car, on the back, the front, and once this trunk is on, uh, will have been built by myself. So, you know, we'll do a little bit of a feature on the channel. Uh, but for those of you guys who are wondering if I will do a, a duckbill trunk for you guys, yes, uh, but with just a few stipulations. So if you're in the uh, GTA, hit me up on Instagram or even uh, send me a DM on YouTube and stuff like that and uh, I'll definitely get in touch with you and uh, like I say man you just need a donor trunk probably about 50 bucks which I'll put towards materials and uh, probably need a couple of days to finish that up uh, so definitely let me know I figured I'd just answer that question because a lot of guys were wondering if I can do a duck bill trunk for them and yeah man that's about it so as always, if you guys did enjoy this one, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet. Uh, you know, definitely subscribe because like I say, we're going to do a follow up with this trunk. I got a few other projects on the go, car related, um, a few other different things we're going to try on the channel. So definitely stay tuned, man. And um, if you have a G35 and you want to buy that trunk right there, definitely let me know. And um uh, Hey, man, maybe I could put a duckbill spoiler on that one for you. So uh, that's about it, man. As always, I'm your boy Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man.